Last year I came to this marae to talk with people here about diabetes and more than one person stood up and said I've been a member of a family of five or six or eight or nine and I'm the only living member and I'm 50 years old and all the people that have my being my siblings have died before the age of 50. Now this is a travesty in New Zealand, it's unacceptable. We're here to serve the whole community but we're going to put particular focus on Māori and Pacific communities because historically they've missed out. Their health discrepancy in terms of life expectancy is so far behind everybody else, that's where we're going to focus. But not just there. We're going to make sure that people, all people who have health disparity are going to be well looked after under the county's Manukau model. One of the first steps was to set up PO, a subcommittee to the health board, with full powers to make health policy involving Māori health needs. The idea with PO is that uh, issues of Māori health interest are presented to PO um, to ensure that there's good uh, Māori input at a governance level with regards to initiatives that we're undertaking. Issues of cultural competency are important to us and we involve ourselves in regular training sessions on tikanga. Today we've had the opportunity to take part in some tikanga training in relation to adopting safe practices with all of our workers who visit homes. It's just a different atmosphere in the rural areas than it is in the, in the city areas. The people we had here today were some of our health promotion, social service workers, uh, tamari order nurses and facilitators, so they're all involved with visiting in the community. So we have a cheap e clinic. If we can keep 6,000 people well each year, there's a huge economic benefit not only to the families but to the community. And we want to promote wellness amongst, in all of our services amongst all peoples. Hosting health services from already established community hubs like the Marae makes perfect sense. One of these areas of improved access is breast screening. Breast Screen Aotearoa is a nationwide free screening program for eligible women aged now between 45 and their 70th birthday. Now I'm going to do a view from the front of each breast and then from the side. The aim of screening, population-based screening, is to reduce mortality.